From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the L.A. Chargers. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? kicker Brandon McManus about ready to get us started and we are underway in Southern California and the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback here are the Chargers ready to go on offense led by their first round pick in 2020 the man out of Oregon Justin Herbert it hasn't taken Herbert long to earn the status of one of the league's best and most entertaining passers he's locked and loaded on every snap in the second he sees an opening the ball soaring downfield. You've got to be on your A game at all times against him. The second you slip up, he's liable to burn you. They started on the ground with Eckler. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Justin Herbert looking to pass. A little short pass. This is Everett. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And that one complete downfield to Allen. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Allen! Keenan Allen, 64 yards. And the Chargers march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. But Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They'll be led out by a man who took that huge jump everyone had hoped for in year two. One of the game's brightest young stars. And that's Trevor Lawrence. The word is potential, potential, potential. Think about this guy from the time he was in high school, one of the top prospects going to college, coming out of college, mentioned as a generational-type quarterback. He looks the part. Tall, big arm, surveys the field. It can take off and run when under duress. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. 
We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And he is going to have a Jags first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. He'll get this off to ETN. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. They'll send Kirk in motion right. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you play a strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Lawrence will throw. And a find the open man complete and he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 27 yard line a gain of 18 at a new set of downs we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive a nice sustained series to begin the game and it will continue after picking up another first there would you say the word methodical comes to mind I love the execution I love what they're doing on this drive they're controlling the ball controlling the game controlling the clock Lawrence now off the bootleg. Man open, here is Jones. Touchdown, Zay Jones. 27 yards. And the Jaguars are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. 
and frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated, they both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he's got some space here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Herbert. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Now Herbert off the bootleg. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. One of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Now Herbert. His throw complete right side to the tight end Parham. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here's second and four from the 24. To the air again, Herbert. And it's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Quentin Johnston, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point try now from Dicker. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was Quentin Johnston who finished that drive off with a touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. 
The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now Lawrence to throw. Complete to Jones. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. The guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over pursuing, and making a very nice play. Under a minute to go, clock running in a back and forth first quarter of play. Here's Lawrence to throw. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They go play action now. Lawrence got his man. It's the tight end strange with it. Yeah, he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. The Jags with the football to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Back to the ground with ETN. And down to the 44, five yards that time. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and five. Now Lawrence. And he's just gonna get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now Lawrence. And he is caught. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 28. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Lawrence's throw taken in by Ridley here. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Straight ahead, ETN. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Defensively, they were in the 3-4, and that O-line just dominated the D-line there. Let's go with the verbal telestrator here, because that D-line has a nose over the center, and it has the two defensive ends over the offensive tackles. That means the guards don't have anyone over the top of them. That creates a natural bubble inside. Where they and did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. Christian Kirk, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slam. Yeah, well, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying don't forget 
it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start your move initially inside if you're a receiver. McManus's point after is good, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. You know, we pause for an injury here. It looks like it's, yeah, it's Keenan Allen who's in some pain down there. More from L.A. in a moment. The Charger drive about to get going. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. From the 22, here's second and eight. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now it's Herbert. He had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now, fourth down, so the Chargers trot out J.K. Scott. Back deep for Jacksonville, the dangerous Jamal Agnew. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had the touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job. And Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie, defense does its job, gets the ball right back, and their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. From the 33, here's a second and four. Here's Lawrence, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route, and he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. The offense on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This is third and four. Lawrence. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Jags first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. The throw over the middle, taken in. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very solid gain of 27. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. 
Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 33. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Second and 10. Looking to throw Lawrence. And he slings one that's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. They'll look to throw again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 12-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Motion man left is Kirk. Uh, he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Christian Kirk with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. A CD that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. The drive will start with an option going left. Herbert has it knocked free. And the Jags grab it. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Problems there on the option and a costly turnover. Yeah, partner, you know how we watch practice sometimes and we see those drills where the quarterback's running with the football and they're swinging pads at him and the brooms are out and they're trying to poke at the football for ball security. I have a feeling next week there'll be an extra session of that each and every day. The Jaguars again ready to take over on offense. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Now Lawrence. He completes it to Ridley and able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. 
right after the turnover they come out throwing and that means it's a sudden change situation we used to practice it on defense sudden change get out there stop the offense but you typically run out there a little bit unsettled i think that's why he came right out throwing the football hoping to catch him off bound and he'll take this one in for a jags touchdown travis Etienne. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. McManus's point after is good. And the lead now up to 14. They had the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And now to the races down the right side and they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. So the special team's penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. They'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he's taken down inside the 30. Third catch of this first half for him. And this one is a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there. The way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. On first down, it's Herbert. They'll find Everett there, complete. And down inside the 15, he goes. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the third team now, they work on first and ten. Herbert operating from the red zone. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Palmer. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds, right around the 7. Call it a gain of 6 on the play, and that's going to bring up 2nd down. Herbert throwing again. Touchdown! Gerald Everett, a 7-yard touchdown grab. 
And the Chargers have got it back to within a score. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen <laughs> with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And they're within seven now at After the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Travis Etienne of the Jags offense set to take over again here. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, You've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. On first down, Lawrence. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Lawrence will throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. That's what it is! That's what it is, baby! Do your hey, hey, hey. Now Lawrence on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. A short throw there to Strange. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. It's such a risky play there to fake it. 
you're either the hero or the GOAT. Here they're going to be the GOAT. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just to call it. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They've got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. Chargers in good field position to start out. First and 10 at their own 42. A shotgun snap for Herbert. A throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Here's second and ten. Here's Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And his kick here is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, Brandon, back to you, too, in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. One of the top performers in that first half was the running back, Travis Etienne. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. Out come the Jaguars now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. 
47 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On second down, ETN once more. Boy, well, shifts past him, and he'll be tackled right on the chalk at the 45. Holding offense. So that run play nullified by the holding call on the tight end. Yeah, I just think he needs to get off the ball a lot quicker and get into the block a little bit more effectively. Then he doesn't have to reach and grab and try and hold on. On second down, ETN once more. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And they'll go again with ETN to about the 48-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 48-yard line, here's the second down and six. Put a man in motion left, Ridley. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. That good for 19 at a first down. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield, too. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 33. Throwing quickly, this is caught by Kirk. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that'll make it second down. a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Here's Lawrence to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A Jacksonville first down on a pickup of 17. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Now a second and ten. Now Lawrence. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're taking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Lawrence to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, maybe said, forget about the sticks. We want six. The kick by McManus is good, and that'll make this a seven-point game. 
Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Now a look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit. First down, Justin Herbert. He will find Davis on the left side, complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here. second and a yard from the 34. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards is the pickup there and a charger first down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnston. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. Now it's Herbert. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 34-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw, maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Slant route going to be caught by Palmer. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Meanwhile, Herbert's this throw taken in by Johnston. Seven yards there at a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Back to throw here, Herbert. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. On that snap, he's the hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive 
take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. Draw play, it's Eckler. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And this one is right through. And that'll bring him back within four. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. As the offense returns, let's take a look at running back Travis Etienne. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll look to ETN to start things out, and he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. On second down, ETN once more. Gets around him, and they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. So it's a quarter that saw these two teams trade field goals here as we've reached the end of three quarters of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's Jaguar football here, and they'll look to extend their lead as we begin quarter number four. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. On second down, a run with ETM. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 123 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. ETN once more. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Ball start, offense. Now, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. 
A shotgun snap and again the ETN. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. A handoff for ETN. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This will get the lead up to seven. The kick by McManus is good, and that'll make this a seven-point game. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll hand off here to Eckler. Oh, he sheds himself free. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 31 yards there and a first down. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the belt three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. It's Eckler again. Down to the 42, second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? From the 42-yard line, here's the second and eight. Here's Herbert. Oh, and that is incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get him the completion. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Herbert now. And Allen's got it. And they'll end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Herbert. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Palmer. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. That's uh, a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. 
But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. Eckler will take this into the end zone for a Charger touchdown. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through. And we are tied here in the fourth. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Jacksonville offense gets the ball back. Travis Etienne and company head back out there. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. No room to be had there on the first down run as he's lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has a real priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Throw out wide is incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. The defense did their job. Fourth quarter, big stand. No doubt about it because the offense has been yelling at him from the sideline. Just do us a favor. Get us the ball back. Give us one more chance to take it downfield. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game. They're not behind. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Quick slant complete to Keenan Allen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. You can see the time and effort and thought that they've put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Here's Herbert now on second down. Complete to Johnston here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Eckler, they run left side. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. They'll come up now. Second and nine. Looking to throw. Herbert. 
That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he will be out of bounds. A good yardage there, and he'll get a second to catch his breath as it leads us right into the two-minute warning. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Here comes second down. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Let's go do this thing. Here's first and ten. Eckler now between the tackles. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. What can they draw up now? Time to find out on a third and eight. Up the middle with Eckler. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Chargers have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And they will take a seven-point lead. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here now, Lawrence and the Jaguars, down by seven, a little under a minute to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Throwing now, Lawrence. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Back to throw, Lawrence. 
Into the hands of Ingram. And running with power here. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. McManus now for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as it kicks away here. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. Wide receiver Keenan Allen bringing out the rest of this offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. This is first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And the Chargers gonna signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. Herbert to throw. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he will get out of bounds here as well. What a play. Big yardage, they stop the clock. And they move it to the boundary of field goal range as well. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. They'll come up first and 10 here. Throwing Herbert. They'll find Everett there complete. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Here's second down. Now a give running left is Eckler. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. And now they're going to get the timeout. A huge play has him in field goal range with a chance to win. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And his kick is good. He knocks through his third field goal of the game, and this one is the one that decides it. And this home crowd is in a frenzy as their guys have pulled it out of the end. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring, 
and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. In this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Southern California, so long, everybody.